A STUDENT SAYS HE BROUGHT A GUN TO SCHOOL, PUTTING AUTHORITIES ON HIGH ALERT. NOT ON YOUR SIDE'S EVAN MILLWARD LOOKS AT THE POSSIBLE THREAT IN HAMILTON. A 17-YEAR-OLD STUDENT IS NOW IN JUVENILE DETENTION WITH A 16-YEAR-OLD WHO MADE THREATS TWO WEEKS AGO. THAT'S GOT PARENTS ASKING WHAT'S GOING ON AT HAMILTON HIGH SCHOOL. PARENTS OF ONE STUDENT WRITE TO NINE ON YOUR SIDE, QUOTE, WE CHOSE TO KEEP OUR CHILD HOME TODAY BECAUSE OF THE OVERWHELMING FEAR OF JUST LETTING THEM GO TO SCHOOL. And we'll do so until we feel their safety is assured. So we took it to Hamilton police. We aren't going to let it happen. Every hand was on deck, and he's now in the juvenile detention center. This week, it was a 17 year old who said he was at school with a gun. He wasn't, he was at home. But two weeks ago, a 16 year old made threats directed toward high school homecoming. The district says this is a problem that seems to be picking up, but they say they've got it covered. Well, I mean, obviously they're going to pay the price for it, and hopefully, you know, the other students will learn by their examples and not do that. Sergeant Ed Buns is a little more direct when we ask why he blames social media and a lack of understanding. Preparation for life is not spending time in the juvenile detention center or juvenile prison because of something's funny that is not funny to anybody and shouldn't be funny to you. Our concerned parents want more. They go on, quoting, our hearts raced for the kids and staff who went to school today. Our hearts raced with knowing our child wasn't in this situation. And as we reported last week, police officers are now being asked just to check in on schools here in the district, just do paperwork in the parking lot even. As for those two students, they are now facing expulsion. In Hamilton tonight, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.